Well, hey friends, welcome back to my channel for another video today. I have a fun one to share with you guys today. A couple of weeks ago, I would say it's been close to a month ago now, I decided to try out a new cleaning system, a new daily routine in hopes that it would just make my cleaning and homemaking life easier if I followed the same routine each and every single day. So I've been doing it for close to a month now and I decided that I wanted to share it with you guys because it has been working for me so well. So the first thing that I do in the morning after I like get everybody off to school and everything, I will say this is my like weekly routine. I don't follow the same thing on the weekends, but during the week, the first thing I do is I come home and I pick up the living room. Usually there's blankets thrown everywhere. Um, there's usually stuff from breakfast. I can see muffin wrappers over there. My kids will usually eat their breakfast in the living room. So I pretty much just go around picking everything up so that I can prepare for uh, my mopping vacuuming adventure that I'm about to go on. So I shared a couple of weeks ago with you guys this Yeedy Mop Station Pro. This product has become an integral part of my daily cleaning routine. Um, just help me keep everything on track, keep my floors clean. One less thing for me to have to worry about. So I need to fill up the clean water bucket. I do add a little bit of Lysol to it. I think you're supposed to just use water, but I've always used Lysol in both of my Yeedy vacuums and they have it's worked fine. So I do that and then top it off with water. And then about every three days or so, I will take off the old spin pads or the dirty ones and replace them with clean ones um the mop itself will self-clean them and so that's why i only do it every couple of days and then we go ahead and load all of the containers back into the station if the dirty one had any water in it i would have rinsed it out uh, but it didn't today and then i'm just going to reload the little uh, mopping device in there and then what I've been loving doing lately is creating a custom mopping plan for it so that it's not mopping like my whole floor every day and wasting all its battery it's only doing the area that I think it really needs so today we are actually going to have it do the back door area in the living room you can see I just kind of adjust the square footage area that I want it to map or mop put it where I want it and then I hit go and it begins to clean my floors while I can move on to other things. I love this product. I will link it below for you guys. Don't forget to check it out. Um, both of my Yeedy vacuums are literally so important in my homemaking and in keeping my home clean. But while that is mopping out in the living room area, I move to my bedroom so that I can, you know, let it dry. So the first thing I do in my bedroom is go ahead and make my bed. I love making my bed every day, even if I do nothing else. If I didn't do any other part of this routine, making my bed is the most important one to me. It just makes my house feel so put together and so clean when I have a made bed. Um, I find myself, if I don't make my bed, closing my door so I don't have to look at it every time I walk past my room. Uh, but when I make my bed, I leave the door open and I peer in there every day and it's just awesome. Then I move into my bathroom. I go ahead and pick up everything that we have used that morning and put it back where it goes in my little organizer here, put toothbrushes back where they go. Bryson and I are in a silent fight right now where he will leave his toothbrush on the side of the sink instead of putting it back in the toothbrush holder. And it drives me crazy. He does the same thing with his deodorant. So every morning it's like a fight that I have with him in my head about putting stuff back where it goes. But that's middle school boys for you. You know, they're just, they're one in, in their own little world. So then I Lysol the bathroom every morning and then I turn the water in the shower on the hottest it can possibly go and I rinse all the soap off. I usually do this while I'm in the shower, like after I've washed myself. So obviously I'm not gonna do that because I would be naked in this video, but um, I'm just going ahead and doing it here to show you guys that I do do that each and every day. Fill back up the toilet paper containers. I now have one in each bathroom downstairs and that has been very helpful to not have my kids scream that they need toilet paper every five minutes. And then I Lysol the toilet as well. 
Um, just doing this every day, I found that I don't have to do, you know, the deep cleaning every single day. I've been following or watching a lot of the um, fly lady methods lately, and she um, uses a lot of harsher methods, I would say, but a lot of them, one is that she says to always swish and wipe your toilet every day, and that keeps it clean and upkept, and you don't have to deep clean it as often, and that is definitely one of her rules or one of her pieces of advice that I have continued to follow um, that I've, um, you know, implicated in my own life. Moving on to laundry, this is another thing she recommends, and most everybody recommends doing a load of laundry a day so that you are able to stay on top of it. So I went ahead and started a load. Finley likes to help with this as well. She likes to dump in the beads, as she says, and then she likes to hit the button as well. I do allow her to help as much as she wants to because I know that there will be one day where she will be like my older two and will be arguing with me if I tell them to do anything. So for right now, while she is still enjoying helping, I let her. So she always starts my washing machine for me. Um, she will help me load dishes. She will really do pretty much anything that I let her to do. She has a little play vacuum. She's literally crying right now because I wasn't letting her pour out um, I, I thought she would make a mess. And sometimes I will admit that that gets me. I'm like, oh, I can just do this so much faster if I do it myself. And th while that's true, I know that I'm also teaching her things it, just by her learning and watching and helping me do things. So I don't know, I bite the bullet and let her help. So she is sitting on the counter right now because she actually wants to help rinse out some things and uh, even put some stuff in the dishwasher. She is going to take Chris's coffee cup right there and rinse it out. She likes to help, you know, she's a helper. So I let her do, like I said, as much as I can. So I'm loading the dishwasher with all of the dishes and then I'm going to go ahead and start it. This is something new that I've been doing. Usually I would just leave the dirty dishes in the dishwasher until it is completely packed full. But lately I have been running it, even if it's only half full, because um, it just stays on top of it better. And then it's, it's a good system to have it to the point where it's clean and ready to unload. Bryson is the dishwasher unloader. So if I run it in the mornings, then he knows in the afternoon to come in and unload it. Um, and it just works better for everybody. So that's what I've been doing. And I read somewhere that even washing a half a load is still more cost effective than hand washing half a load full of dishes, like it saves water. So that's my thought process with that. Then I wash my sink out with usually i just use some dawn power wash unless i use um, lysol or something sometimes i use the dawn power wash and then spray it with lysol as well to disinfect it it really it really just depends on how i'm feeling that day on this day i just used the lysol or i'm sorry the power wash so essentially i just do like a clean sweep of the entire downstairs every single day but i would say the most important things are keeping the toilets cleaned the dishes cleaned the bed made and the bathrooms like the counters decluttered and stuff if i leave that all and then i'm trying to rush and do it right at the end of the day when chris comes home it just frustrates me so much like i can't tell you how much this routine has helped not only in my homemaking but just in my like mental state and knowing oh all of that's done because i did it this morning you know what i'm saying finley also likes to hit the dishwasher buttons and then she likes to turn over the little magnet here from dirty to clean. She, you know, she, she just, she's so fun. She does put it upside down and I didn't fix it because she was yelling at me and she didn't want me to touch it. So it's just upside down today. You know, I pick my battles. The other day she went to Food Lion. It was 80 degrees and she insisted on going in Food Lion in heavy, thick winter socks and then sandals on top of the socks. And everybody in Food Lion thought that this was just so hilarious but that's, you know, as a parent, if there's one thing I've learned, it's to pick your battles because there's going to be a lot of them and not all of them are that important. <laughs> that's what I try to tell myself every single day. So we're almost done with the downstairs now. We're just going to wipe down the other bathroom after we finish wiping down the counters. And then we can go ahead and move to the upstairs. Oh, I lied. We need to vacuum in here. So if Marisol over there is not mopping and she's only vacuuming, then she will vacuum the rug. But if she is in mopping mode, then she actually only will 
mop. She won't go on any carpeted areas because she would obviously get everything wet, the carpets. So on the days that she's mopping, which honestly is every day right now, I've been letting her mop just because we have four dogs right now in our house, um, Monday through Friday, and it just gets the dog hair and the mud from going outside. It's just too much. So I've been having her mop every day, but, um, therefore I need to vacuum this carpet. And again, all four of these dogs are shedding their winter coats. So it's, it's rough by the end of the day, I have to vacuum at least twice a day because it's just so much dog hair. Um, so anyway, after I do that, I am going to go ahead and finish the downstairs by wiping down the counter in the other bathroom in the half bath and then also the toilet in the half bath before going ahead and moving upstairs. Now, like I was saying, the upstairs is something that I largely ignored and I'm going, you know, you guys know I'm always honest with you guys. My bedroom's not up there. I don't go up there that often. And so it's something that definitely gets ignored. So when I figured out this new routine, the upstairs was something that I really wanted to touch on. So what I do every single day upstairs is I go ahead and pick up the loft enough so that I can run the other Marisol, the other vacuum upstairs. Um, so we do have two Yeeties, you know, we had the first one and then we upgraded. So I have one upstairs, one downstairs. So I go ahead and pick up all of the toys. I have Finley help me. She usually drags them right back out, but at least I know that the carpet was vacuumed and all the dog hair was gotten up. Um, so that's the first thing I do when I go upstairs, go ahead and pick everything up so that we can vacuum. These little bowling things are fun. I think Finley got these for her birthday and they're just, they're super fun, but she tends to throw them everywhere. So I have to snappy snap every single one of them back into place every single day. And who knows where the heck the ball is because I couldn't find it. It's probably under something, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get Marisol going up here. Um, now this one does mop as well, but we don't have any carpet or I'm sorry, any hard floors upstairs except in the bathroom. So since I moved this one upstairs, I have not been using it as a mop. I've only been using it as the vacuum, which is fine. Um, she actually, I would argue that the vacuum on this one is better than the vacuum on the other one. Um, but I don't know. So I start her and then I go ahead and move into Kylie's room. I do not do Bryson's room. He is at an age now where he is, you know, a preteen. He'll be a teenager next year and he doesn't want me messing with his stuff. So I do not go in and clean his room. I don't go in and make his bed. I don't do any of that stuff. Privacy is something that I want to, um, make sure to honor with my children within healthy boundaries. And he has expressed that he doesn't want that. And so I don't do it, but Kylie's room, I do go in and make her bed for her. Um, she, we did move all of her furniture around. So she has a lot more space in her room now, which she's been enjoying. Um, like just having more space on the floor with having pushed the bed up against the wall. So yeah, she's, she's loving it in here lately. So yeah, I go ahead and make her bed so that Marisol can come vacuum in her room. I throw all of her 9 million squishmallows that she likes to have on her bed on there. And um, then I leave her door open so that Marisol can vacuum in there. I do same type of thing. I shut Bryson's door so that Marisol does not go in his room. And then Finley's room was clean on this day, but usually I would go in there and pick her toys up so that the vacuum could run in there as well. Bryson will just take the stick vacuum in his room when he picks up, which honestly is not very often. It's just, you know, again, middle school boys. Moving into their bathroom, I wipe everything down and then here's Marisol doing all my work for me. And then the final thing that I do is go downstairs and empty the dirty water bucket. Look how good that sucker cleaned. <laughs> she is awesome. So yeah, be sure to check the links in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to Yeedy for sponsoring today's video. And I will see you guys on Friday with a Sam's Cup haul. If this video helped you, be sure to let me know down in the comments, especially if any of these things are things that you do in your home. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you Friday. Bye.